This is the testing protocol for the functional movement screen inline lunge test. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a dowel that we have with the measurements on it. We're going to measure from the ankle up to the base of the knee. So the lower leg, for me, that is about 16 inches. We're going to remember that number. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to get the functional movement screen board here. We're going to remember the number we had, 16 for me. When we stand on this board, we're going to have our front of our toe behind the back line here and the back of our heel of our other foot in front of the line that we marked. So we're going to get the board, put it on the ground, get your heel behind that front line and then the toe behind the back line. So this is the position we want our feet. We want to make sure our straight line, toes pointing forward. Then we're going to take the dowel that we used, put it behind our back, hold one overhead, one behind our back, making sure that we establish three points of contact, the head, the thoracic spine, and the hips. We want to keep those throughout this movement. Then we're going down, up, down, so for this, we want to get all the way down to the ground, all the way back up. We're going to do at least three reps per leg. The big things that we're looking for with this are ankle, knee, and hip mobility, as well as balance, which is probably the biggest one, so core stability with that balance. And then we're also looking for making sure that when we hold the dowel behind their back, they go up and down. They are keeping the three points of contact, not leaning in or out, not forward or backwards, and not rounding your back when they do this move. 